What's up, everyone? It's Jerry from Kill the Cast, and joining me is the lovely Reese. Hello. And we just saw Strangers 2, Pray at Night, mm -hmm. and we thought we'd give y'all our opinions. So, first, I guess let's go over the good. There's some wonderful shots, and I really like the soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack uh, in certain scenes w was very, very... Uh, oddly fitting like it didn't really fit but it kind of made the scene better mm -hmm. so i thought that was really good uh the pacing of the movie is great everything kind of is always moving forward the care I, I like all the characters i don't like i didn't like specifically hate any characters personally um and it's it, it kind of has the same vibe as the first movie kind of it's more it's more of an action standard slasher than the original, which was like a very suspenseful home invasion movie. So, Reese, mm -hmm. what did you like? I definitely liked the music. Uh, there was so many parts where it got quiet, and then you would hear a part of a song that obviously does not fit, but as you keep watching the scene, it makes it feel more creepy, um, which I think makes it feel a lot better. Um, what else did I like? Uh, I definitely, I kind of liked the killers. I kind of liked them. Um, but for a brief moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same killers from the first movie, in case you didn't see all the posters. Or I guess it is? I don't know. When we, yeah. it's the same, it's the same mask. So I guess so. Copycat killers, maybe? <laughs> no, I think it's supposed to be the same. So, I guess at this point we're going to get into what we don't like, and this might be some spoilers. So, if you have not seen the movie, you should probably turn it off here. If you have seen the movie, let's get into spoilers. So, uh, things we we did not like. Reese, what's something you did not like? The one thing that really stood out to me that I did not like was the daughter's emotional breakdown from the entire movie. You, the first time, moment you see her, she's crying. The time that you they stop somewhere along the movie, maybe a few minutes later, she's still crying. And then when all the killers start appearing out of nowhere and they start happening, she's still crying. So throughout that, I was waiting for her to have a, a, um, a main character strength in herself. But no, the entire time she's crying and bubbling and screaming. So I was kind of disappointed in it. I will say it does it did does kind of seem like they got rid of a lot of the um the the final girl trope in this is more akin to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's final girl in the in the very original. Um the in fact the ending is actually very very much kind of like that. Um my problem with the movie is they the the original movie was such a fantastic suspenseful home invasion. And the sequel is, is a mediocre slasher. It's okay. It's fun. Um, but it's just... it. You can tell it's missing something. The, the script just doesn't seem like they really put that much into it. Because mm -hmm. the cinematography is amazing. Yeah. Uh, the movie looks great. Even though I do feel like they kind of lingered on shots that had nothing in it a few times too many. Because uh, at any of those times where once I'd be looking in the background trying to see if I see a masked killer because they do those kind of shots. But there there are times where they do those shots and there's nothing in the background. Or at least not that I could see. Did you feel like that also? Yeah, there were some moments where I was looking really hard and then they ended the scene. I was like, oh, well, I couldn't tell if there's anyone there. <laughs> yeah, so th that was an issue. But that my basic problem is it was just a little too mediocre. It's It's not a bad movie by any means. Um, I was kind of hoping with the huge spoiler coming, huge spoiler coming with them killing off all three of the masked people, or at least, at least two of them, maybe the guy also, they really don't go into why they're doing any of this either. They keep with the, the motif of because they can and yeah. That works for the first movie, but for the second movie, it's kind of like, eh, maybe, like, I don't know, I'm sure there's people that would have complained if they would have given them a reason. 
I don't know. I guess it would... I was hoping more, since it was the second one, there'd be more an explanation and involvement with the killers rather than just a regular peekaboo horror. Yeah. You know what they should have done? They should have made a movie like like the Light Strangers, except from the point of view of the killers. Yeah. So, like, like instead of the killers all, like, popping up out of nowhere for the survivors it's the survivors kind of popping up out of nowhere mm-hmm. speaking of which the the scene where the the daughter goes into the trailer and finds the jack in the box and it just so happens that one of the one of the killers are in there i have the, no that is too fucking easy of writing there's no way that random mass killer knew to be in this specific trailer New to play, like, it just didn't work. Like, no. That's what happened with a lot of them. That was a milestone, another complaint of mine. Everywhere they went, even though they got lost in the trailers, they said it all looked the same, and it was a kind of a large area of trailers. Everywhere they went, the mask, one of the three masked intruders were right there at that time to kill them. Yeah, and there's some questions over the, the man in the mask and his truck and how many places he's in at once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a little bit too much convenience. Is what I'm saying, but uh, it's a great, it's a fun ride. It's a fun ride going through it all. It's very predictable. You can kind of see where everything's going. Though there are a few moments of uh, of I didn't predict this, but it's also because they kind of set it up to be another way. Like the 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 boy, the son won't shoot the the one of the mass killers. Why? Why? But then, like 15 minutes later, he just like crazy stabs her to death a di- the other killer like stabbed crazy and it's just like but he didn't have the heart to shoot someone but now he can like just straight up stab them michael myers style like uh, eye contact and everything yeah yeah so i was just kind of like uh, i don't know how i feel about that um though i will say it was satisfying when he when he hit her with the golf club yeah that was satisfying so i, I was waiting for a little bit of his uh athletic yeah. Um, <laughs> all in all, I, I, I probably, I don't really care for rating movies, but if you had to have a rating for me, I'd probably call it a 6 out of 10. It's it's worth the watch, but I don't know if I'll get it on Blu-ray unless it has, like, good special features or if it's a good price. Reese, uh, if you had five. a 5 out of 10, so completely average for you. Yeah, it's it was a 50-50 for me. Like, there was so much that they could have went with it that to make it change and made it better, but... At least what they u- did use and what they went through made it a pretty good movie. Yeah, I'd still love to see a Stranger's Three where they did it from the point of view of the mass killers, kind of like how Ender's Game in Ender's Shadow. Yeah, uh, it tells the same exact story just from two different characters' point of view. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see that personally. So I guess I said uh, Stranger's Two: uh, Pray at Night is it's okay. All right. So. If you're going to watch a movie, maybe watch it. Or you could watch The Ritual on Netflix, which I thought was really good. The Ritual, for sure. So, that's it. We're gone. See you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment. If you've seen the movie, tell us what you thought. Tell us if uh, you agree with me on the next The Strangers movie idea. We're out of here. Pieces. Get it? Pieces? <laughs> huh.